Can I say something right there? So he told me about this story when they was oh. outside um <laughs> creaming house and they fucked and everything that day. The bitch never had on a pad. She was fucking just sitting there like basically like no, just no, no, no. let me explain this. Okay, well explain it. First of all, it happened like this. And I ain't got no reason to lie. We was in cream house. We left up out there, bitch. We went to the car. I was fucked up. Like, fucked up. So, I didn't realize what the fuck really had happened, what took place. I know I didn't fuck, though. I did know I didn't fuck. You told me you was fucking hush, outside hush, the hush, car. Hush, the hush. door was open. Hush, I'm going to get to all that. You got to let me speak my shit. So, boom, it was like this. So, I was fucked up. And the next day, I realized I had makeup on my shirt, this, this, and that, now that, and the third. So I sit up there and I said, hey, did you suck my dick or some shit like that? Because I got makeup all on by my shirt. She was like, yeah, because you were sitting up here talking about you couldn't take it and this, that, and the third and all this type of shit. So I'm like, okay. And then, so, you know, when you drunk, you start remembering other shit. So... I start remember when I was trying to fuck her, but my dick won't get hard. This real shit. And babe, you know how I am. Yeah, when you oh, yeah. So, look. So, my dick won't get hard. And it was people outside that was looking at us. So, nigga smoking a cigarette and shit like that. And I'm still, like, trying to fuck her type shit, but my dick won't get hard. Yeah, you run for the scene, and I like to hit the music of the bridge.